L. trompopag is what we call a thrombopoietin mimetic. Natural thrombopoietin binds to the, the, thr binds to the thrombopoietin receptor. Sorry, stop this one. So yes, natural thrombopoietin binds to the receptor here. But in early studies where natural thrombopoietin was used, it produced antibodies which then prevented the PEEP prevented sort of plate that counts coming up. So work was done to develop these thrombopoietin mimetics. So l trompopag binds to the receptor here, so at a separate point. Because it's a small molecule, you will not get antibodies being developed. And even if you did, it wouldn't stop natural thrombopoietin. The thrombopoietin mimetics then stimulate through this JAK and STAT pathway to increase megacaricyte production. So what the work we're presenting here is actually the largest clinical trial that has ever been done in pediatric ITP. It involved 38 centers from across 12 countries. Again, these were children who had had ITP for at least 12 months and all had a particularly low plate that count, which increased their risk of severe bleeding events. It was a two-part study with the first phase comparing l trompopag to placebo, and then in the second phase, all children were carried on with l trompopag for a total of 24 weeks. The response, our main aim of the study was to look for a durable response, i.e. a response in at least six of eight weeks between sort of the early part of the study compared to placebo. And the study showed that 40% of the children had that durable response observed. It should be noted that the children were all started on a relatively low dose of the drug, and in some children it took a considerable time to build up the responses, but on average responses were seen between three and four weeks. So it didn't give long to then really get this durable response. A single response as achieving a plate that count of over 50 was seen in 75% of the children on the study drug. We're not bothered too much about just plate that counts. We actually want to know what really happens to children. What we're worried about is bleeding. And it was great to see in the study that not only did we boost plate that counts, but we also significantly reduced bleeding. So we saw a 50% reduction in bleeding events from baseline to week 12. And then an ongoing reduction as the study carried on. So that in total, we saw a 66% reduction in bleeding events. Some of the children went on to the study on a steady state of steroids or other immunosuppressants. And when the children were in this open label part of the study, the physicians were allowed to try and reduce that. And 61% of the children were able to reduce or completely come off their baseline ITP medication. The drug didn't work for everybody. Four children had to come off the study due to a lack of response. Five children developed abnormal liver tests, but those all returned to normal after discontinuation of the drug. So in conclusion, we believe that l trompopag is a potential new treatment for children with immune thrombocytopenia. We've demonstrated very high response rates, a reduction in bleeding, and that these response rates are maintained long, longer term. The study drug also demonstrated that children were able to come off other ITP treatments and that this is a safe drug for children to have. Thank you. <coughs> Are there any questions from the audience? John? Um, first, this is strictly pediatric, right? So this is different from the Bucell study? So uh, Jim Bucell has done work in both adults and children. Um, Dr. Bissell is presenting here some of the earlier work on l trompopag which was sort of the phase two study, and this is the phase three. But the majority of the work that Jim Bissell has presented has been on adult patients, correct? And how did this compare to the other TPO agents? Do you so, know, or has it even been looked at, or is it gonna be studied? So the, as compared to sort of the, uh, 
TPO drugs in adults. The results really showed that in children you're seeing similar responses to what we saw in the adults. Um, other TPO drugs in children are being investigated, but the, this is the one which is for furthest down on the clinical phase studies. The romiplostin studies are only at sort of at the phase two level at the moment.